Hi guys, Big Niche here. I have uh, been cooking more at home like I'm sure a lot of you all are doing so I figured why not take you guys along with me on our dinner journey tonight. Um, I'm making salmon and I'm going to bake some cauliflower and broccoli. I might add something else to that but we'll just see how it goes. Just to take a look at the cauliflower that I did, I just put it in an oven um, pan so anything you can use metal glass it doesn't matter. Um, and then I went ahead and coated it with uh, some olive oil, just a little bit, mix it around, and some of the minced garlic. And then I went ahead and seasoned it and then threw it in here. As you can see, my cast iron is already hot. I've just got a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. Um, just coated that. I'm gonna add my salmon to the pan. So I did make a cut right down the middle, um, but these are actually skin on. So I'm just gonna put them skin down in the pan. It's gonna be difficult uh, to actually cut through that skin, so I just cut through the meat so it'll cook a little more evenly. Um, and then when I flip it over, it'll cook the way I want it to. But um, I'm just gonna leave that attached and put that skin down in the skillet. And I already cut this one as well, just down to the skin. I'm going to leave that, um, it's on two, the setting is on two right now, from like one to ten. Okay, so as far as seasoning so that I'm going to use on my salmon today, um, I've got garlic, I've got uh, salt-free all-purpose seasoning, some Old Bay and Mrs. Dash, which is um, spicy jalapeno. Um, you can use whatever you have though, like I said. If I didn't have these, I would make something in my cabinet work. So I wouldn't make a special trip to the store. I just pulled these out. And next time I make salmon, it'll probably be seasoned differently, honestly. Um, but it's going right now. I'm just going to be patient and wait for that to cook through um, the thickest parts. And just going to throw some seasoning here, but kind of be liberal with that. And I have it in this cast iron just because... I might actually transport, transfer it to the oven at some point. For me, I find, you know, the best flavor is really just coating that. And if you have to re-season it, if it looks like it's using some of the seasoning, if you end up flipping it later, do it. Don't be afraid to add more. So the cauliflower has only been in the oven for a few minutes, but I decided kind of last minute that I want to add some baby carrots to this. And since they're pretty dense too, they're probably going to take just as long as the cauliflower to um, bake. So I'm just going to scoot these over um, and add a little bit of probably just salt and maybe a tiny bit of butter on the carrots on one side and then pop it back in the oven until it's ready for the broccoli. Not very much at all on that salt. Um, 
I might want to add some other seasonings to that. I'm not exactly sure, but I might do it whenever I put the broccoli in there. So I'm just going to cover this back up and throw it back in the oven. So since I just added the carrots to the oven, it's going to be a while for those to get kind of soft and how I like them. So I just put the salmon on low for now, just to kind of slow down the cooking process on that. Hopefully they'll be done around the same time. Um, but I did decide that I think I'm going to pop the salmon in the oven with the tomatoes in the cast iron um, for the last few minutes of that cook. And uh, I'll check back with you guys in a minute. I'm going to show you guys that I went ahead and added the broccoli. Um, I scooted over the carrots and cauliflower to make room for it. And then I added my cherry tomatoes to the pan with the salmon. I'm going to throw everything in the oven for the last few minutes in order to finish cooking it. Um, so I can go ahead and turn the stove off now, I guess, but I'm going to show you guys. I just cut my cherry tomatoes in half. So you can see that I put everything sort of in the empty space here on the sides. And then I've got my broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots here in the same pan. I'm just going to put them all, no foil on there anymore, put them all in the oven. And probably wait, I don't know, another five minutes, but it... it it's really not about the time. I always just look at it to check and see what it looks like. I did kind of check the tenderness of the veggies and they feel pretty good. Um, so it's really about just kind of roasting the top at this point and then finishing the fish. So check so back I've in. I've had it in there for a little bit and the fish pretty much looks cooked to where I want it. You take a look at that. However, the um, tomatoes, I would like cooked a little bit more and I was thinking I wanted the top of that fish browned a little as well as these veggies. So I just put it on broil on low for a few minutes. Just gonna wait for that to finish. Pull the salmon out and it looks amazing. Look at this. See it's starting to brown a little bit on the top there and of course the top of the tomatoes are a little browned. Um, and even though they look a little bit dark on a couple of them you can see like that tomatoes it's fine that they'll have that because they break apart really easily but this looks really good so the veggies are going just a little bit longer to get the tops of those browned where i like them and really it wasn't about a time thing i did not time this i just waited a while and kept checking on it um so i apologize i know some of you just like very specific recipes and you want you know to just set a timer and not think about it but i wasn't doing anything else and so um I just prefer to babysit it um and really i don't even babysit it that much i'll go and do something and i'm like mm, feels like it's been a minute come back and check on it in a little while um and i really haven't burned anything that way so uh you guys do what's best for you if you need to set a timer for every 10 minutes do so that's fine um when it's on broil though i wouldn't let it go for 10 minutes maybe like four or five All right, these look perfect. I'm not sure, yeah, you can see that pretty good. That's how I like them. They're nice and soft, they're not too mushy. Um, they're roasted on top and they were seasoned nicely. So I am excited about this meal. I guess I'll get it plated, be right back. All right, sorry the lighting in here is not the best at this time, but um, here is my plate of delicious food with salmon, cherry tomatoes, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Yummy. I am super excited about this. And um, there's gonna be probably plenty of leftovers. I just wanted to plate this um, because it looks so delicious. Um, so you guys let me know if you have any questions about what I did or if I can help you through the process at all. Um, these, um, wow, I can't think straight today. Anyway, these oven roasted veggies are so, so, so good. I honestly can't say that I would have done something differently. I kind of just figured it out as I was going, how I wanted to do it. So uh, initially when I cut the salmon in half, I ended up not even flipping them. So I did not flip the salmon at all. I just put it on broil for the last few minutes in the oven and using a cast iron as a which is really convenient to cook it in because you can start on the stove and finish in the oven and not have to worry about swapping it around. A lot of times when I've made salmon, I have flipped it. But um, yeah, I did not this time. It's a bigger piece of fish. So, um, and I like mine kind of on the medium side. I don't like very dry salmon. So 
So I was gonna try it, but it's super, super hot. And I just pulled this literally from the middle, from the thickest part there, so you can see. I'm gonna actually set that and let it cool for a second because it looks like it's gonna burn my mouth. Try some of these carrots. The consistency is perfect, but I did test one earlier. before I put it on broil just to make sure it was going to be good. So cook it to where you want it first and put it on the broil setting for the last few minutes just to brown the tops. I think the um, cauliflower might be my favorite of these this time. This is super good, honestly. And it's healthy. This might be cool enough now. I still see steam. It's not too dry. Um, it's not overdone. It, it's really good. I actually prefer mine cooked even a little bit less than this was. But it's it's good. It's I would this is just fine the way it is. I added some of those um, tomatoes in that bite just now, and they are really, really good with that. I think I'm going to get some more of those tomatoes, actually, to pair it with the bites of salmon. Hmm. Anyway, sorry I was a little scatterbrained in this one, but the meal turned out phenomenal. I mean, I could not have asked for a better turnout on that. I'm thrilled with it. So... Let me know if you guys try this. Um, let me know if you tried something else similar or if you have any questions about what I did here that maybe I didn't think of or I left off when I was kind of explaining things to you guys. Anyway, thanks for hanging in there with me. Please give this video a like. I do appreciate that support and I will see you next time.